Okay, I already have a bad feeling about it. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like you know the rules, but just so you know how it works, I'm gonna name okay. some of your castmates, and I want okay. you to tell me something sweet and something shady about them. <laughs> Bring us the bones. Are you ready for this? Okay. All right, let's start with Candy. All right. Um, um, nice. Um, Candy is just really like, you know, like your homegirl. Like yeah. she gives it to you straight and she's just really, um, uh, really cool and actually inspiring. Like she's such a boss and I really kind of like, you know, look up to her. You know, she's got, she's like a big boss. That's uh, on something the other shady. side, yeah. shady. Well, uh, if you say something in a scene with Candy about someone, you better get ready for to get carried back. And Candy is like a human tape recorder. She remembers everything that you said. Ooh. Where I say stuff and I'm like, what? She said that or I said that? I don't even remember. Who said that? Candy. Yeah. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? And Candy is like, no, you remember you said that we was you had on a red shirt and <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, she remembers everything. And I'm like, you have so much going on. How can you remember all this stuff? All that time in the recording so, booth. I she's mean, always say, recording. If, if you say something around Candy, she's going to remember it and she's going to tell it. Do you oh. think she holds a grudge? Yeah, she can hold a grudge if you piss her off. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. I love pissing her off. Well, you never know. She's, she's holding those grudges. Yeah, Mama can hold those a grudge. arm muscles. <laughs> yeah. Carrying them around. <laughs> really does. The season. Yeah. Uh, what about Portia? Um, something nice. Uh, Portia is actually one of my favorites to film with because she is just so much fun. She's we hilarious. always laugh and just act silly. Like it's almost a problem. Like we almost can't do scenes together because we can't <laughs> get anything done. So uh, she's definitely my laugh buddy. And something shady. Uh, something shady about Portia. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all did get in that fight. There well, was that little physical <laughs> fight. <laughs> well, we've been kicking it ever since. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, well, you know what? Portia's a little different with some drink in her now. Uh -huh. uh, get a little alcohol in, little in Portia. Put a little H Henny Portia. <laughs> it's a whole nother Portia. It could go, uh, you know, it could, it could go to the left like, right. real quick with her. What yeah. about my favorite friend of the housewives, Tanya? Oh, Tanya. Uh, something nice. Uh, Tanya has just a great personality. She's just super happy and bubbly all the time, and I love that. Love it. And on the downside, um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I know too much of a downside okay. uh, about her yet. Interesting. She's That's not like good. shady with fashion or anything like that. I well, think she's a. Uh, well, now she, well, you know, I don't really play the fashion game so much. Yeah. You know, I don't, you know, I'm not really, uh, I'm, I'm more of, I'm into, you know, balling on a looks budget. As yeah, opposed exactly. to labels. <laughs> That's right. right. I put them labels. together and it didn't matter who it is. Honey. So <laughs> I don't really play the fashion game. So I don't know. I mean, I guess. You know, she's kind of into her fashion thing, and I guess you can get, like, a little serious about that. I don't know. I don't really, I can't really say about her. Okay, what about uh, Shady Fei Fei, Phaedra Parks? Oh, oh Phaedra. Woo. <laughs> Warpio. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, she's hilarious. Uh, I think she definitely has some good uh, reads. Uh, she can definitely read. She can. For sure. And and I think uh, on the Shady side, mm, like, Scorpios are just... Kind of revengeful. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, we saw yeah, that. Yeah, like, and they, and they and they have time. They may not get you right away. Like you think you're like you think you've gotten away with something, and then like three years later, they just like all of a sudden it's like a knife in your back. You're like, oh. uh, what happened? What you know? You think she it's lines like you. I remember that time like in 1917 that <laughs> came for me. They, well, I they're didn't putting it in the notebook. Yeah, they're keeping track. They're going exactly. to be back. <laughs> all right. What about the original bone collector herself, Sheree? Uh. Good thing about Sheree is uh, I like Sheree. Sheree actually is, you know, super just actually laid back. To be honest, you have to really just come and get her for her to like <laughs> get you back. You yeah. know what I mean? So she's she's just pretty cool. Like I, I really don't film a lot of Sh with Sheree as long as I've been on the show, which is like ten years. Uh, but she's 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 cool. Like she's really cool. And I don't know if that always comes off on the show with her. Yeah. Um, on the shady side, uh, she will definitely throw you under the bus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right there. She'll be like, oh no, you remember you said this, that, and the other. Like she will definitely uh, carry a bone back for sure. Wow. Okay. What about Marlo? Marlo. Uh, Marlo. Uh, on the good on the good on a good note is. <laughs> 
Uh, Marlo's cool. You know, I have a lot of fun with Marlo. Mm -hmm. um, I like back, that, so. you know, I like that she's into her little fashions and all this stuff, and that's great. <laughs> Um, it was nice on to the see other her, side, which, what she's doing for her sister, I thought. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my no, gosh. no, no. And I love, love, love what um, you know the the circumstances and how she ended up with her nephews is, you know, very sad and yeah. unfortunate. But the way she stepped up, I really commend her yeah, me too. for that. Me as well. Um, on a shady tip, uh, Marlo definitely, you know, she can she can switch up on you for oh. sure. And that, you don't want that other side of her. Like for sure. You don't want that switch to happen. Whew. No. Yeah. No. no, no. I, try, I try. I pretty much try to stay away from Marlo. <laughs> I just try to like. Smart. Try to be in a neutral space with her. <laughs> what about Kenya? Uh, on the good side, uh, you know what? Kenya is actually one of the ladies that I'm super close to, and you know, now that she's a mom, like I've seen even a softer side to Kenya, which you know we don't always get to see Kenya's soft side. Uh, like I said on Andy's show, she's mother. I'm not saying she's mother Teresa, honey. <laughs> but she is a mom now. Yeah, she is. Okay, so, uh, and, you know, she's someone that I actually go to for a lot of advice and stuff. I really do. Like, King is like my girl. Now, on the other side, uh, you don't want to piss her off either. Like, having these girls, you just don't want to piss them off. They're cool until you piss them off. <laughs> and you don't uh, really know when you piss them off. They just No, like, pissed. you don't know what, yeah, and then you don't know how far it's going to go. And, you know, Kenya, Kenya has time to really, like, Come for you in a way like she like can do it in such a dramatic way like you know she's got time to put together a costume whatever it is to come and read you and just like she's the shade assassin like I think Kenya uh, if she focuses on you you're in trouble All right. Ooh. well actually Kenya was here a little <laughs> while ago but what I didn't tell you is that she actually left a message for you uh, it's time for just between us oh lord <laughs> <laughs> Hey girl, it's Kenya. Just between us, what do you think was the craziest thing that happened behind the scenes this season? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, let's see. Um, Show us, tell us, I wanna know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think, well, the most explosive was definitely Greece when Kenya and Nini got into it. Like, it was crazy. It's gonna go really? nuts. Really, like, yeah. like the best, worst, Cash trip we've seen in Atlanta? Well, it started off good and then it ended really bad. Oh, like so it, ended it really started bad. off with like Mamma Mia Greece yeah. and it ended with Mamma yeah, Mia. Nightmare yeah, Nightmare on Elm It was bad. So I'm going to say the uh, argument between Kenya and Nini. Okay. And Nini. Well, that brings us to our last girl, a blast from uh, the last, uh, Miss <laughs> Nini. Uh, on the good side, um, you know, when Nini's with you, she is 100% with you. Mm -hmm. um, she definitely, you know, when she loves, she loves hard. Yeah. On the flip side, <laughs> <laughs> when she's against you, she will take you out. Yeah. And when she is not loving you, the op opposite of love is hate. She hates hard. And you have felt both sides of that for sure. I have, have been, been loved and lifted in a blaze of glory, <laughs> and I have been literally like gunned down on the street. You have been everywhere <laughs> on the needy spectrum. Oh, in you're this still show. here. I have. I am still standing. Yes. I am still standing. In heels, no less. Well, we see on uh, Sunday's episode in the in the little trailer that we saw that uh, you both attend the New York City Pride Parade. Yes. And fans finally get to see Nini for the first time this season. So mm -hmm. let's take a quick look at that. Definitely weak. She looks really desperate. Oh, Honey, her she wig is desperate. desperate. <laughs> yeah. Who is that? I'm gonna go make sure I say hello to her. Woo! I mean, we were there yeah. at Pride, and the tension was palpable, to say the least. What was going on with you two at Pride? Well, we weren't speaking at Pride, obviously. Uh, that was. I think that may have been the. I think that may have been the first time. I had seen Nene filming for sure. I actually ran into her at, well, I didn't run into her, but we both were at the Kentucky Derby together, but we weren't filming together. So, um, And you didn't you know, say anything to each no, other? No, 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 we definitely didn't talk at the Kentucky Derby. You and I were talking on the float when she walked by and I snapped this little picture. So this oh was- Oh my gosh. Look, oh, there we were. Look how happy we were. But the other picture oh, with you and Nini yeah. uh, seemed to be pretty tense in that moment as you walked right by. You know what, it was, it was kind of awkward. Yeah. You know, the thing is, when you are, you know, at odds with someone, you know, usually just don't 
be around them. So right. uh, I knew we were going to be on a big float. And I was just hoping and praying that it was going to be big enough for both of us. <laughs> were you honestly. nervous about the encounter? I wasn't nervous uh, per se, but literally I just saw her do that interview where she was saying uh, once again that I was um, very weak um, and desperate, I think. And so it wasn't like, you know, had somehow she missed the float, I would have been upset. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> right. You know, so, you know, my, my relationship with her is what it is. You know, we, lo we left off in such a dark space um, at the reunion. Mm -hmm. um, on one hand, obviously, I knew I was going to see her, you know, season 12. Part of me just, you know, I just want to, like, have our conversation, which we did end up having, and just get on with it, whatever it's going to be. Like, I'm not concerned with us being what it used to be or anything like that at this point. But if I'm going to be around her and if we're going to be in the same circle, you know, I just want to have, you know, we, let's just have a mutual respect for each other. Because, honestly, I don't enjoy talking about Mimi. I really don't. Yeah. And if, you know, if I wasn't asked about her, she wouldn't come up. I hear it. That's fair. Well, Kenya actually said that Needy tried to spit at her. Were you there for that? Well, that's the scene that I'm talking about in Ooh. Greece. Ooh. I was there. I was front and center oh. <laughs> at that scene. But I was standing, like, kind of behind Nini, so I couldn't see her. I don't think, no, she actually spit on her, but I didn't see that part. But I knew, I mean, she was throwing popcorn. I knew that Ooh. for sure. So I didn't see the spit part, but... I, I don't know if she was trying to spit or if she actually did spit, but I didn't see the spit part. I Are you guys banned from that. Greece now? Is that what we have to do? <laughs> well, Is that country you're not allowed to go back? Is this... <laughs> I'm just saying that we don't go back for a long time. Yeah. I think they would be fine with that for sure. That's so fine. do you think there's any hope for their friendship at all? No. no that's, <laughs> really? I don't. That's gone. Uh, at this point, I don't. And uh, despite what Nini says, uh, I really did try to, especially when Nini and I got in what, it, what I thought was in a decent place, um, I did try to, like, you know, push them together and just, you know, I wanted, you know, she was, you know, making amends with pretty much everyone. And, you know, Kenya was pretty much the last man standing. And I really wanted to try to help, you know, help them at least get into, you know, a, a decent place. But... Alas, that didn't happen. Can't win them all. Well, we also heard that there's a snake this season. Ooh. What is that about? Oh Cynthia my Bailey? goodness. Well, honey, the good news is uh, we did find a snake. Okay. Eventually. The bad news is you're gonna have to watch the whole season to see who it is. Oh. And it is crazy. And there's a lot of speculation who the snake is. Like I had my idea who the snake was, but. It actually, the person that I thought was a snake didn't end up being a snake. I hope it's like some real left field. I hope it's like Dwight. I hope yeah, it's no, like, yeah, right. It's like Lisa like, Lou. Like, it's Lisa not even it's on the Andy. show. <laughs> this is exactly. like the mass singer, though, for Atlanta. Like, yes. in the whole season, their mass were trying to guess. Or and it to just kind of came out of nowhere. Finally, the it, reveal. Really, the whole thing came out of nowhere. And it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, one of the things I can say about, you know, being a part of this cast, like, I go into every season and... I kind of think I have a little bit of an idea how the season's going to go. And it's always, it just always goes left. And I'm always in some weird friend triangle. Um, it's just crazy. Like, you would think I would have figured it out by <laughs> season 10 for myself. Keep, but Keeps you on your toes. I know. Yeah. Keeps you on your toes. It keeps us watching. Amen. <laughs> That's why we're here. Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us today. Make sure you catch Real Housewives of Atlanta Sundays on Bravo. Don't go anywhere.